Tubits by Nelly Turner from LeanSecrets.com. I'm running late today. Guess where I'm going? Go ahead, guess. Nope, not there. Nope, not there either. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to a place called the Aloft Loft in Chicago, and that is basically where people go to learn how to do acrobatics. Obviously, this is like a vlog video. I figured it wouldn't hurt to do vlog, but the point of this vlog today is to get out of your comfort zone and do something different. Anyway, back to the Aloft Loft. So I'm doing the silks class. I'm going to be doing the silks class for the next two months. It's one one day a week for I think the class is like two and a half hours, something like that. If you remember the VMA performance that Pink did and she's like tumbling down the silks, I'm going to see if they're going to let me film today. I don't want to go in there though and be like, hey, I'm a YouTube nerd. Can I film the class? What were we talking about before? Oh yeah. The whole point of the vlog changes and doing something different, doing stuff out of your comfort zone. People will say, how do I stay motivated? That's a video I even did on how to stay motivated. It's a big motivator if you're looking forward to something new, something exciting, something different. Challenge yourself all the time and you will be astounded at the things that you learn about yourself. And you'll also surprise yourself in like, for instance, I don't, I, I have no experience in, in gymnastics. I can't do a cartwheel, but Hopefully by the end of this, I'll be astounding myself in my abilities. Maybe I'll join the circus or something. Very lofty. This was like a secret passageway. Okay, so I'm done with the circus class. I got like two seconds of footage just to show you guys what it looks like. I was a hot mess. That was really hard. It was much harder than I thought it would be. It's like straight up aerial gymnastics, you're up in the air, even hooking your foot around the silk rope and then climbing up to the top. My arms are killing me right now and I really liked it. I next time I'm going to ask her if I can ta if I can tape and they're really nice. Everybody was really nice, but I felt like a hot mess up there every time she'd be like, "Okay, now let go. Let go of your arm and just hang." And then I, I was like, my ropes were swinging all over the place. If there's something that you've been thinking about doing, like think right now, if there's something that you're thinking about doing that you've always wanted to do that you see on TV, I dare you to go and do it now. I figured instead of just making it just a vlog, I'm gonna do a Q&A. So I'm gonna go onto Facebook, we're gonna jump on Facebook, you and me together, and we're gonna go through your questions and I'm going to answer them as best I can. Right after I eat, I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna answer your questions. We got ground turkey, uh, broccoli slaw with a few slivered almonds and some brown rice. All right, lunch was good and now we're gonna move on to your Facebook questions. Danica Worrell asks, what do you think about rice milk as far as nutrition goes? Is it as good for you as almond or coconut milk? I am not a fan of rice milk. I feel that the carbohydrate content is too heavy without enough nutrients. There's not much uh, vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids. It's mostly just carbohydrate. And it's fine every once in a while if you're going to do it as like a pre-workout, if you're doing a very intensive very uh, heavy leg day, something like that. But really, I don't drink rice milk. I think almond milk or coconut milk is much more nutritious. And almond milk and coconut milk have good sources of fatty acids, particularly coconut milk. April Skakowski asks if cucumbers are okay to eat not organic. Um, cucumbers are better to eat organic. If you cannot afford the organic, you wanna peel that skin off. Anything where you're gonna eat the skin, you, you should, stick to organic. Anything with a thick skin is okay to buy not organic. So oranges, squash, uh, anything where you're gonna peel the skin off or a thick skin does not have to be organic. But again, like cucumbers, I eat the skin off of cucumbers. Unless you're gonna be peeling that skin off, I would probably stick to the organic version. Kim Wilcox, this isn't a question, but Kim Wilcox says that she was inspired by my video and did lunges around her house yesterday with her two-year-old following. I love you, Kim. You are so sweet, and I feel like me and Kim are like friends, but I, we've never actually met, but Kim is awesome. She is really positive and sweet. So thank you very much, Kim. Get them, girl. Next question by Shirin Razai or Shirin. Hey, Brenda, I was wondering about your views on chocolate milk for post-workout drink. About to start Insanity next week. Okay, Insanity is awesome. I love Insanity. You guys know how I feel about Insanity. I do it, I do it maybe once in a while uh, now if I don't feel like going to the gym. So you're gonna love Insanity. As for the post-workout drink, uh, chocolate milk, it really depends on 
what you're trying to do. If your goal is to lose body fat, it would be better to stick to something like just a whey protein shake with almond milk instead of the chocolate milk. And I, I don't drink milk. I don't think that there's necessarily anything wrong with an organic also a raw milk. I feel like a better option for you would probably be to stick to the almond milk, the coconut milk, mix that with some fruit, maybe some kale after, blend blend your own green smoothie with some protein. That would probably be better. You want to get a lot of nutrients into your body after you do something like that. Insanity is very exhausting. It's very, very demanding and so your body actually needs a lot of nutrients. So really jam your body full of nutrients right after. So the green smoothie video, will show you how to do that. Um, the chocolate milk, every once in a while, if you feel like you're gonna have a very heavy training day, I mean, that's fine. I, I'm not, again, I'm not a big fan of that. Olympic, some Olympic athletes do use chocolate milk if they're gonna be training for like three or four hours a day as a recovery because of the sugar content. And by the way, make sure your whey protein is just whey, not sucralose, no artificial flavors, colors, preservatives. I like the J-Rob brand, but anything that you can get at Whole Foods that's all natural. Trina Telford wants to know what to eat for dinners that are healthy for kids or kid-friendly snacks, snack ideas. Um, you know what? A really good snack that is great for kids is ants on a log. That's gonna be the celery with some kind of nut butter or sunflower seed butter. Top that with raisins. And then you've got your little ants on a log. Fruit is like a go-to thing. Fruit's like very easy. Kids need carbohydrate because they're growing so fast. So carbohydrates are really important. Carbohydrates from a natural source of fruit, any kind of fruit. Applesauce is a really good snack. As for dinners, something like a brown rice pasta with spaghetti. I know kids are like, Kids and spaghetti go together like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know what it is, but kids seem to love pasta. So some kind of brown rice pasta with, with spaghetti sauce. You can even do your own homemade mac and cheese. I know kids really like that box stuff, but you can do your own mac and cheese with the brown rice spiral noodles. You can get those at Whole Foods. Make your own uh, mac and cheese with organic milk, a little bit of uh, organic cheese. Oh, and another good snack idea is like um, healthy popsicles so you can make your own popsicles if you want to blend the fruit in a blender and then put almond milk the fruit in the popsicle molds and give that to your kids your kids will probably like that a lot all right guys that's gonna just about do it for today as you may have noticed the the poll for Friday's video is going to be carbohydrates. We're gonna talk about good and bad carbohydrates. I'm gonna be in my kitchen and I'm gonna show you guys all the carbohydrate options that you can have because I know uh, a lot of people have trouble with that. They're like, well, what can I eat? If I can't eat wheat, what the hell can I eat? I'll show you guys on Friday all the stuff that you can eat, carbohydrates that you can actually eat and get and stay lean. So look forward to that on Friday. And um, other than that, I think that just about does it. I will see you guys on Friday good carb, bad carb, and other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. See you soon. Bye.